Hello, people of Zion. Welcome to step three of four of my investing in cryptocurrency for beginners series. This is where I talk all things wallets and I show you how to get your crypto the heck off an exchange and into a more secure software or hardware wallet. Now in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys step by step through how to set up the hardware wallet, the Trezor One. And if you wanna know how to get your crypto off an exchange or other wallet into this Trezor or how to sync it up with its software Software wallet partner crypto exodus you can watch the videos I did on that but for now let's set up our Trezor welcome back the Oracle from the blockchain here and happy to help guide you through the golden crypto country now remember when it comes to discussing all these exchanges and wallets and things like that I am NOT a rep Okay, I cannot give you all the ins and outs of these products. I'm just here to show you how I did it so that you can see how it can be done. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. To set up your Trezor One, you're gonna go to the webpage trezor.io slash start on your secure browser. And on the Trezor Start homepage, click that you have a Trezor One. Click continue to wallet after you've confirmed that your Trezor did arrive wrapped in this hologram seal, which also made it hard as heck to open, by the way. But they just wanna make sure it wasn't tampered with. So, you know, they're looking out for you. Good looking out, Trezor. And then connect your Trezor device to your desktop or your mobile, whichever one you're using via the included USB that it came with and click check for devices. Now here it gets a little wonky. You know, other tutorials say now install the firmware. A lot of them just kind of gloss over what happens here for most people. I've seen some struggle through it or whatever. <laughs> I found that in spite of the fact that it said that my device was paired, I couldn't get to any firmware or anything. So I returned to Trezor's homepage, went to, I already have the Trezor device and installed the Trezor bridge. And it was only after installing the Trezor bridge that I was then finally able to get to the firmware. And then it says to refresh the page. And then I was able to start installing the firmware. When installing the firmware, my Trezor device did let me know that the installation was successful and both the desktop and the Trezor device prompt me to reconnect my Trezor device to continue. And then you'll get the option to create a new wallet as your device will also let you know that you need to create a backup or a secret key to recover your assets for your device. Now remember, your private key, which is your wallet's unique 12 to 24 word code or key needed to authorize transactions is what you will need in, to recover your wallet in the event of a loss if it is no longer with thee or to make a duplicate key. So you are not letting anybody else see any of the stuff you're doing. You are keeping it all hush hush. And apparently this can all be done in three minutes if you are not trying to document it all for strangers on the internet. <laughs> Here they'll let you know what your recovery seed or backup actually is and how to treat it and click the I understand box and continue to continue. And then your Trezor will let you know the 12, 18 or 24 words that make up your unique recovery seed and write them down in order as you go. And then when you're done with that on your device, the desktop will automatically let you know that you have successfully backed up your Trezor and you can click continue to continue. Then you'll create a pin on your Trezor, which is what you will need to access your wallet. The dots all represent numbers that are shown on your Trezor device and use the number layout there to create the pin on the desktop app. And when you're done with that, click enter pin. Your pin will be set and you can click continue to name your device, which will help you recognize it in your portfolio, especially if you have more than one wallet or device. Choose a name and click confirm to continue, but just so you know, you're gonna have to enter your pin again. So make sure you keep it nearby. They'll then tell you how clever you are and then you click continue and they'll remind you to bookmark the site so that you return to the right site in the future and not one set up by scammers to look like the site, you know, the whole phishing stuff. You can also stay updated on Trezor products via their newsletter. And once you make your decision there, they will let you know that your Trezor is all set up and ready to go. You can now start managing your crypto via your Trezor. If you wanna know how to move crypto in and out of your Trezor, you know, different exchanges through wallets, all that stuff, you can watch the video I did there. You can also learn how to sync it with its software wallet partner in crypto 
Exodus, you know, there's plenty of stuff. If you want to get a ledger instead of a treasure, you got options, baby. You got options here. But in the meantime, remember that this is the Oracle from the blockchain reminding you to eat a cookie.